everyone. I'm so very pleased <laughs> to be here today to share my home with you and a little bit about me. Thank you. So come on in, everybody. Come on and watch us. And we're going go to go for a little. Huh? We're going to go for a little interview, and we're going to check everything out and just kind of see kind of what we can see. So okay. right. there's Miss Calibri. Here's me. Kind of thing. Thank you. So yeah. <laughs> All righty. Okay. So All could right. you tell us a little bit about the artwork that you have here? Yes. Um, first of all, this is one of my signature pieces. I did this a couple of years ago and I really did quite well. And this is from my symbolism series. Okay. And um, it's done Zentangle. And I you utilize some areas that have something to do with the African culture. Okay. So what is Zentangle? Zentangle is a form of drawing. Okay. With, and and I used to call it doodling. Okay. I used to call it doodling. Mm -hmm. But a few years ago, a group of people decided to change it and make it Zentangle. Okay. And so that is basically That's the official word. Right. Zentangle. Mm -hmm. Right. And there's a different patterning going on in that piece. It's beautiful. That's I really love the amazing. black and white. Thank and you. underneath it is Rosemary Summers. Oh, the famous Rosemary Summers. Very nice. Work. So you're a collector as well. Oh, yes. yes. I love collecting, and especially from the Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club. Okay. okay. I love their pieces. I love, you know, I haven't ventured out to too many other people because there's so many wonderful artists there. That's right. Okay. Yes, yeah. we do. Now, would you mind showing us some of the pieces that you have featured in this yes. beautiful Baker collection? Yes, if you'll turn. <laughs> All right. You will see <laughs> Priscilla Pfeiffer. Oh, wow. Yes. From the Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club. And we have Rose Lewandowski. Okay. These two pieces are, are my new acquisitions. Mm -hmm. I like those. And the two here are Patricia Baker. Oh, okay. the famous <laughs> Patricia Baker. Yes, yeah. one is a pour and the other is an uh, acrylic. Okay. An acrylic print. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what makes you hang like this? Uh, I like things done a little differently. Uh, being a math person, and knowing about shapes, shapes that um, I really am um, looking at the fact that the square can be hung. We call it sometimes a diamond, but it's not a diamond. It's mm -hmm. still a square. It's, it's just long. turned. Yes, it's I turned. like to hang pieces like that. I don't like to hang them just exactly. straight like that, especially okay. when they got right. so much great composition. And we have also over here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, a, a small piece on the table, a tile. <gasps> that is so nice. And that's by Miss Algie Washington. Algie Washington. Yes. I like that. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Thank you. All right. She's got an absolutely amazing home. Wait until you see some of the amazing artwork that she has. So we're going to take you on the, the Baker tour. Thank oh, you. This. Can can they come too? Can y'all can y'all y'all wipe your feet off? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite all right. Okay. In um uh, along this hallway are some of the artists that I love. Okay. Um also it also has some of the pieces that I gathered when I was in Africa. So this tapestry is mm -hmm. from Africa and these pieces are from Africa. Okay. When I had, um, I went on a trip a few years ago. A few years ago. Okay. I truly don't remember the year. Okay. 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 <laughs> but you went and you had a great time. Right. Uh, this is another piece that came from there. Uh, these are. Uh, uh, this is a piece done by Glenn K. I call him Glenn K. because yeah. I never can see his last name. Correctly. Can you thank you? Yeah, Glenn Fiance. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Wonderful. Piece. Yeah. As we come along this wall, everybody knows Walter Bailey. Yes. But we didn't you didn't know that Walter Bailey uh, has been working for so many, many years 
And I have two of his earlier pieces. These pieces were done in 1989. Oh. Wow. And he is now doing a very futuristic uh, series. Mm -hmm. But um, these, his futuristic series still remind me of these in some way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite artists is Nathan Spratt. Oh, this yes. piece here is one of the first pieces that mm -hmm. I acquired. Very lovely. And I, because I love people who sing. Mm -hmm. um, actually, right here is a piece that my son, my son is an artist as well as a graphic designer. Oh, okay, so it runs in the family. It runs oh, in the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I um, am looking always to incorporate his work as well as my granddaughter's work. And a little later, you might see a piece that she's oh, done. Would to show us a piece yes, or two. I, she will. I would love to. Okay. All right. And here's another one of Nathan's done in acrylic. Another one of Glenn Cave's. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very. Now, what what in, what styles draw you to them when you're collecting art? What what is your eye? Go to. I'm more of what you would call representational, representational art, mm -hmm. as well as abstract okay. are my favorites. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, this piece is one of my abstracts. Oh, that's very cool. I didn't know. Her, that. Yeah. That I work in all different media. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Right. Love yeah, the nice. color and the texture. Yeah. A lot of texture in that one. I see that you have a lot of African inspired, and you did mention that a lot of African inspired artwork, or at least it feels that way. It is. It, yeah. It's there. It's either African or Egyptian. And uh, every now and then, America, America, uh, America Yeah. Uh -huh. These pieces on this wall, there's um, another favorite artist of mine is Raphael Hornbuckle. Mm -hmm. And I love the eyes. Very Ooh, nice. The eyes. Just draw you. Very nice. Let's see Marcel's. Yeah, Marcel is right next to that piece. Very nice. And I was drawn to this. Nice and tall, Marcel. <laughs> yes, yes. I was drawn to this piece um, by Henry Heading. I love that. Because it reminds me of my granddaughter. Oh, really? Yeah, she looked like this when she was around that age. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. The yeah. eyes are what caught, caught me on that one. All right. Beautiful, beautiful piece. These two pieces are from direct from Egypt. Beautiful. So I incorporate them as, a, you know, to give interest right. to, to the area. This is like an art gallery. And in the middle. She can have tours. Yes, this is Dawood Shabazz. Yes, Dawood Shabazz. I love yeah, the I texture. Love but I love the texture of the frame yeah. as well in this right. one. Yeah. I, I picked it because of that frame, too. <laughs> and Very this nice. is another one of Dawood's uh, pieces. I love butterflies. And so, because sometimes I feel like a butterfly. Yeah, and he does a magical job of capturing the feeling behind it, too. Yeah. Just the freedom. So it? sometimes as you look look at my clothing I have on today, mm -hmm. I feel like a butterfly. She's a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> now, could you tell us about this piece here? This piece was acquired before I got into art. Mm -hmm. And I kept it. Um, the framing is sometimes considered dated because of the colors used mm -hmm. and how they used to do it in the older days mm -hmm. but i love the I like it, it, it inspired me to do a piece oh, really? and maybe a little later i'll show you a piece that inspired me from this one peace peace and we have two more of nathan's mm -hmm. down here some of which i sometimes these these pictures i sometimes uh get tickled because i won this one in a raffle mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Just spin and do a little dance. We dance. Dancing. Okay. All right. You can come Try on that side. All right. So I can get the fabulous. There we go. There spin it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, tight space here. 
okay, this is um, one I won in, in, a, in a raffle. Mm -hmm. And then when he presented this one, I just had to have it because I love to dance. Mm -hmm. And so this makes me happy. Mm -hmm. In fact, anytime I come out of my room and go down the hall, I'm just feel really good. This is, joyful. A, this is a great space. It's joyful. Like, uh, an art, like a museum. Uh, they, Yes, many people come to the house and, and really say they feel like they're in a museum. I said, a museum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a museum. museum. And this is just the wing of it. I mean, and they, have... said, they said, art museum. I said, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll oh, accept yeah. that. Okay. It's very beautiful. Thank very you. beautiful home. Very, very. Thank nice. you. Executed. I love yes, it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The artwork is fabulous, the decor is fabulous. And then I love that you have a variety of artists as well and styles. Right. It's cool. Now Very we're looking effective. into the sitting area of the uh, home. There's this little story that goes along with this picture. I like that um, okay. picture. And guess what? It, the previous owner was an artist. Really? So that was my first acquisition after I bought the home. Oh my God. I bought her one of her pieces. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. She worked with an architect, mm -hmm. Yamasaki. Okay. Yeah. So, in interior design. Very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. So it like was the textures and the squares and just yeah. the geometric. Yeah, I like, and of course, you know, like I said, math again. That's right. Lines, mm -hmm. squares, Lines. curves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Right. I promised to show you one of my granddaughter's pieces. Yes, please. So I'm going to go over here and hopefully I captured in the correct way. There you go. This is my granddaughter's piece. She did oh this God. when she was 19 years old is, and I'm, it a charcoal. She was University of Michigan Fine Arts Program. It's beautiful. Very proud grandma. Yes, I am. I am. And the two pieces to the either side of it are uh, from Raphael Hornbuckle also. I recognize that lion. Thank you, ma'am. Now, what is this piece here? This piece is, I bought this at a Detroit, uh, Delta Sigma Theta's Detroit Chapters art auction years mm -hmm. ago. And uh, Mu Yame is his name. Okay. Like and he um, was a person that people bought a lot of his work. So I was happy to have this as a part of my collection. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. the way he's got, the, he incorporates the textures and the painting and the yeah. whole. And that whole emb embossing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that what it's called, embossing? Right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. very. Yeah. And uh, right here, there's a picture by Donald Jones, who's a Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club member. Mm -hmm. And that works with my thing. You notice I also have a few um, animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> That's uh, Algie Washington again. <laughs> These are just a couple of posters, but I am a, I'm a person who years ago, uh, I used to uh, have a job as an administrator and teacher. Mm -hmm. And... I loved good things. So I would go to the better stores and whatever. But over time you recognize you didn't need all of that. And so I go I would go to different places and find find you know, great finds mm -hmm. in resale shops. Mm -hmm. And so, there are great finds. There are oh, some yes. amazing yes. finds. Yes, yes. I had to so find a piece from the sixties in the uh, resale shop. Yes, and you just have to know what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. That's right. So, come on, y'all. This this piece, these pieces, came from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And like I said, you know, you f you find what you can, and so those um, <laughs> the pieces were ten dollars a piece. Oh wow! From an artist on the street. Isn't that fun? And then I brought them home. And you framed them. And I had Eric. Eric's. I've been framed frame them Beautiful. and back in that day it was 60 or 70 dollars each 
but you know it's not like that. It's now. not like that. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, these these will be with me forever. They're beautiful. Yeah. Ten dollars a piece. Oh, I yeah. wish. I yeah. wish. <laughs> these I did a trade with Rose Lewan. Uh, I said it wrong. Lewandowski. Mm -hmm. uh, we trade. She likes to trade rather than buy. I like so, to trade too. Yeah. Trading is the best way. And I like yeah. those pops of colors too throughout. Oh yeah, that's very oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going to have a color anyway, but still, <laughs> her walls. I know I shouldn't have totally. Yeah, her walls are so amazing. The color that the walls and it just enhances the photo. It just enhances all mm -hmm. the artwork. It just, right. it's just so wonderful. Yeah. We have uh, this is one of our pieces here, uh, with the purple background, one of my abstracts. Very nice. It's called Pathways. And now what is this piece here with the yellow, with the uh, dancing? The, the, the dancing is really a, actually a reunion. Okay. Or it could probably be the end of a wedding. I don't know, but they're all in white. So I'm, I decided it was going to be a reunion because it reminded me of my reunions. Ah. And the person is uh, Pat McLemore. This is also another trade from um, someone from Mac Alive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that institution that's working with um, in that area to enhance it. I also was, um, I worked for TransArt and a little later asked mm -hmm. me about that experience. TransArt. TransArt, okay. because that, that picture is one of the limited additions from that job that mm -hmm. I had. We have, I love this piece. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. It's me. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. James is now past. James Chisholm. Chisholm. Oh, yes. And so I was pleased to get that and have it as a part of my collection. And this has got to be one of Miss Baker's works yes, down here. I see the signature. Yes. This was done, one of the first pieces I did during Corona. Oh, yeah. And guess what? See, I don't like to do negative work. You want to do happy work. I want to do happy work. I, I like to do happy work. I like mm -hmm. happy work. Happy right. work is great. And so I, like I, found, I found that when I was working on this, I was always, I, uh, Corona, the only thing it seemed to do for me is I seemed to always be drinking coffee. Right. <laughs> so these are coffee grounds. I thought she was going to say me she's oh, drinking. Wow. I like so that. I incorporated coffee grounds. It's called the coffee break. Okay. I'm always going to the coffee. You know. Yeah. I mean, what else would I do? Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You have one of um. Is that Marta's? Yes, Marta. This first piece I bought from Marta. I bought it at the Breakfast Club. Yes. You know when she bought them in. Mm -hmm. And I'm loving it. This is a Judy Bowman. Yes. That's very nice. And you can see some of her collections down here. Judy Bowman. I like the giraffe. <laughs> I have a thing for giraffes. Now, all of these are pieces that are going out. Yeah, yes, these are uh, over here are going out. They're two different shows. Okay. These are some pieces I was going to show tonight. Oh, I like that with the. Um... Music These are my pieces. Okay. Of course. Very like nice. That. Yeah. Very so I'll, nice. I'll share them a little later. And we have more Marta right here. This is this and a, this is a very nice piece like too. That. This is uh, this is Nathan. Uh, hmm. Jose. I remember they uh, shared. A... Yeah, they shared. It were four of them guys. Hans. Uh huh. Right. I can't think of the other person's name, but guess what? I won that too. That's a nice for forty dollars. That's not bad. <laughs> ah, I remember that. Raffle. I remember that. You were yes, there I that do. Glass. I was there. Was there. And this yes. is um, the African doll. Is that um, this one right here? Oh yeah, the yes. African dolls are are um, made. Uh, had them for a while. They're made um, with fabric. And is that is that an artist from here or? Um, yes, yeah, so she's from Michigan. I can't think of her name right now. It, it may, I'm not sure if it's okay. someone you know or not. Okay. The name is on the bottom of the piece. Okay. 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 
right. Sometimes can't remember everybody. I know, we know it, but we don't know it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and I guess that's just about it for what's in this room. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Well, Except for my work. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get so down to dirty and two second break. We didn't the station ID. Us. Well, go yes. ahead. Go ahead. Hi, welcome to WJZZ Cool Jazz TV. You're talking Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Miss Baker and Calibri the Artist. We're at Miss Baker's home. You can see us kind of scooting in. You can find us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook Live, and Instagram. So it's WJZZ Cool TV. All right, let's so all have a seat. Down. Be comfortable. Be comfortable. We're gonna get comfy. And talk to Miss Baker. We're gonna try to all scoot in there. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be, be fine. Girls talk. I'll I'll fine. Fine. <laughs> yeah. So first and foremost, thank you. Thank you for um inviting us to your home. And y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all can hear us. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk kind of loud. Mm -hmm. So so Miss Baker. Yeah. Stylist extraordinaire, all of that good stuff. Style guru, I should say. How long have you been into art? Well, I've been a lover of art all my life, mm -hmm. but in terms of how I began, um, actually I was probably seven or eight and I like to draw okay. and I like to color. Okay. And I really still like to color. Okay. And so, you do a good job of it. yes, I, I, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's soothing. Yes. And um, so, um, I did that. Then I was, you know, a part of brownies, mm -hmm. and and we did a lot of crafts mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And where did I, you grow up at? Oh, uh, in Royal Oak Township. Okay. Okay. That's eight mile Wyoming area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, so I felt uh, comfortable doing things. My mother sold, so I did many crafts mm -hmm. throughout my teenage and early adult years. Mm -hmm. Cooking rugs, okay. crochet, <laughs> okay. sewing, macrame. Okay. So you did it all. <laughs> I did a lot of things. That's fun. To no, keep no. myself busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I I really enjoyed all of those different crafts, mm -hmm. but I never really tried to do any painting. Mm -hmm. Then when I got a job as a teacher, mm -hmm. I didn't have any money. <laughs> didn't have any money. So, so I had to dress. I mean, I made my clothes to go to work, mm -hmm. but I didn't have any jewelry. Mm -hmm. So then I started making jewelry. So that I'd have something to put on my neck and my ears. Mm -hmm. okay. And how long have you been making jewelry? 1967. Whoa, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it was a uh, great experience. And I ended up selling the, the jewelry. Mm -hmm. And so for and you a while, went to work and you did they actually buy it right yeah, off? Yeah, sometimes they well. would try to buy it off of me, but they, back then I needed it on me. So <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't do that, right? Now, uh, years later, somebody want to buy some earrings off me? They can have them. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh she's Lord. got the coolest earrings. I'm well, talking I, about these. Yeah, thank you. are just so fun. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I have so much now, so many, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy, I make something every day, mm -hmm. earrings or a bracelet, pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. it, it, because, you know, just relaxing. Yeah. 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 And that's what I'm about now okay. in, in this, at this age. Okay. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, trans art because that was, I worked there as I, while I was being a teacher. Okay. And um, now, what is... Trans, yeah, art. What is Trans art is a company that was in, in existence. I'm not sure what the year was. Um, I'm not sure what the, the uh, year was, but how do I put it? It kept me busy. It also brought me some funds, some additional funds. Because when you have two sons and they need to go to school and, they, and, the, and it has to be paid she feels she has a need. Son, she she got a need. Yeah. We're Sorry. just watching the time, everybody. But that's all right. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, trans art was a kind of uh, situation where I would go into a person's home mm -hmm. with my little kit, mm -hmm. 
It was home sales, but related to art. Yeah. They, they had a catalog. You could pick the print you want. Oh, okay. And then I would come and show you the mats and the frames that could go with the print that would look good on that wall. So you actually like like a, you were like a, a framing shop and came to that. Yeah, that is a very never heard of that. I've yes, never heard and that. it's really cool. send it off. When it came back, I would deliver it to them and, and hang it for them. Okay. And and always hang it in what I thought was the best location. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they didn't really always fun. agree. Oh, it was fun. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm hoping people, people don't know. Y'all don't y'all don't know how to hang art. No and art. <laughs> It makes a difference. Yeah. yeah. And, and so sometimes people say, well, wow, you, you know, your color selection, your pop, you know, I said, well, I have had a little experience mm -hmm. in pulling colors together to go pick out that one little color that's in that print that, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to look good. Mm -hmm. That particular print that I showed you is one of the um, limited editions and it's a sign and numbered piece. Mm -hmm. And I, while I was doing that business, I tried to pick up at least two or three of those. Is Transart still? Uh, no, no, no. It was, it was out of Marietta. We would have to go, we would always every year go to Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. big conferences and everything. I've been on stage for it and everything. That's so cool. Yeah, it, it was, it was fun. That is so fun. So I, that's why I say it's been in my life. Yeah. But I just, you know, really, um, I would say I've only been painting three years you've only been painting three years three years <laughs> well, you just blew my, my <laughs> shoes right off <laughs> three years yes you yes. amazing i came to uh detroit by house breakfast club three years ago to present my jewelry uh -huh. and henry harper said hmm <laughs> he, he said um well i I'm not sure if we're doing that. I said, or are you trying to tell me you don't want to see my beautiful art, mm -hmm. jewelry, because I've designed it and picked what I was going to put together. Mm -hmm. It's part of me, you know, it's, you know. Mm -hmm. So he, he says, all right, okay. So, uh, uh, we'll talk about this some more. Mm -hmm. And of course, when he talked about it some more, he wanted to know, well, do you paint? And I said, mm, no, I don't think so. He said, what about drawing? Do you draw? I said, well, yeah, I draw a little. He said, well, why don't you give it a try? So wow. I started giving it a try. Shout out to Henry. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. For the push. <laughs> and, thank you. And Henry, thank you. Thank because you. now I'm on a journey. And I'm. Uh, this has been a wonderful adventure. Mm -hmm. And I'm loving every piece of it. Okay. Wow. It's my Three years. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to take just a pause to remind right. you guys that you're tuning in to Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Calibri the Artist. And Debbie LaFerre. On WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. And make sure to um, email us at WJZZ Cool TV Official if you'd like to sponsor or advertise. Mm -hmm. So we're here today with. Ms. Artist extraordinaire, Miss <laughs> Baker, the fabulous Miss Patricia Baker, um, telling us about how she first got into painting three, three, only three years ago. She so is. Please phenomenal. continue. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And all my friends out there, don't forget what I told you to do. <laughs> we'll have to show them a couple of pieces of her jewelry in the few yes. 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 And so um, I'm trying to think where I should go next with my little talk. So I, I do have a question yeah. because you, it's, I mean, that's quick. That's soon to be uh, paying just three years. Um, but you have such a unique style. What brought you to your, your style? Right. Well, actually I started, I enjoy doing different things. Mm -hmm. So some of it is discovery. Some of it is experiment, mm -hmm. and I'm still trying to find me mm -hmm. in, in this mixture. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I do watercolor, mm -hmm. acrylic, pen and ink and marker, have you done pastel. Any, have you done any oil? No oil. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> what was it? No oil. <laughs> and the reason I say no oil, because I kept hearing about how long it takes to dry, and I am very impatient. <laughs> I, I, got want, it. I want it done. Mm -hmm. I want it quickly. I want it 
finished, done, hung mm -hmm. here, you know, I'm, I'm, that's me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, but I enjoy sometimes even um, mixing the media, mm -hmm. you know. Well, she uses coffee. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think it's so cool. It's such yeah. a great texture. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I have a, a jar of, a uh, couple of jars, actually, the jar that's up there by that plant is uh, sand from Egypt. Oh. So oh. Now, I might one day take some of that and incorporate it yeah. into yeah. what's Ooh. add some that piece of cost more, though. That piece of cost more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, just so you guys know. It's a, it's a, very, it's a well traveled piece. And speaking of cost, that's interesting because. Uh, that was part of what I wanted to share too. Is that when you when some people say, "Well, Pat, your pieces they're they're so reasonable," mm -hmm. and I'm yes, that's because I'm not going to say I don't need the money, mm -hmm. but I'm comfortable. I feel good. Y'all can't feel this house like this. It's beautiful. She, okay. she's comfortable. I'm comfortable. <laughs> so I, you know, I want people to enjoy and and feel good and 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 about uh, the work. Uh, I actually compliments make me feel really good when I do the um, art fairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love, love doing it, the energy from the I, customers. From the energy from the customers and the and the, the uh, conversation that we had. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned quite a bit about people, uh, and they see things sometimes in the art that I don't see mm -hmm. because I haven't planned a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I, I just do. Mm -hmm. And so it, it comes out how it comes out. I also, I like that, um, what they call it, Picasso type style. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll show you, you know, some of my last series mm -hmm. did quite well. In fact, all of them sold except one. That's probably because I didn't put it out there. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you, if you don't put it out there, it won't sell, sell, right? That's right. Okay. But I took each one of the ones that the original sold. And made prints from them. Okay. And so the prints are selling. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. great. because and you they also like make cards, don't you? Yeah, I make yeah. note cards. Notes cards, yeah. which are very, very just a nice little piece you can have. You can mm -hmm. you can put a little frame on it or right. something. Right. In or fact, just... some of my note cards are at Ant Anton Art Center. Right. And and um at <laughs> Hannon <Hannah> House. <laughs> Hannon House and Anton Art Center have them. My cards. Yes, I've uh, seen you been there. All right. Yes, and you've had them and my jewelry shows. is at Hannon House. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Are you at uh, Detroit Artist Market. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know you were there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I like it too because it's for the jewelry. You know, she dabbles in everything. But for the jewelry, you know, there are other selections of, of jewelry. And um, one of the first things you, you notice is the price. Um, the quality is there, you know, and, right. and it's all eclectic. It's all very unique. It's, oh, you know, you, you see a piece, you're like, oh, you see the price, you're like, ooh, <laughs> let me look again. Oh, ooh, and then you see her, it's like, oh, ooh. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And you can afford them and get a couple of them, and it, you know, it makes you feel like you're getting a treat. Exactly. But it's on a budget, like me. I was with a group of <laughs> ladies today, and all of them made me feel so good today because they were my sorority sisters, but we went to uh, lunch at uh, Bonefish, mm -hmm. and they were all wearing a piece of my jewelry. As, uh, we had been up in Manistee, found sea glass, <gasps> and so Ooh. I made some earrings from sea glass. Okay. And that was fun. And then there's a, a young lady who, um, she's not a sorority sister, but we count her in, <laughs> call her our plus one. Oh, okay. And, and um, she likes what other people call mismatched earrings, but one is if they are they're similar yes but they're different my kind of girl you you do that i do that yeah yes. debbie yes. does yes. that mm -hmm. and yes. and so i'll make something for her and then shoot it to her and she said i'll be right over okay because she that she, that's her style should okay. we show yeah. her some of the jewelry would you like me just to go get some of the jewelry oh or um yeah could you maybe oh yeah. one of the <laughs> she's tiptoeing out she way to say hey girl yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gail is going to bring it to you us. You can just sit right on Thank the table. It's okay. You can come okay, up. You're good. I'm actually going to bring it up here. So pretty. Okay. 
Good. Now yes. that piece, it's already sold. It's, oh. it's, it's sold at the National um, Council of Artists Art Auction. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And it is a beautiful uh, piece. What kind of stones th- are those? Those are um, turquoise. Beautiful. Now, what inspires the jewelry? Now, this, the this piece uh, is in, um, has African stones in it. Those longer pieces mm-hmm. is uh, from those are from Ghana, and in the middle piece from Ghana. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I love the color. I, I love like the color her too. Jewelry because it's very colorful. You could it's hardly even colorful. appreciate it. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's it's very rich. The stones are very rich. Even this, I'm going to give another close-up just so you can kind of look at even these individual beads here. It almost looks like they're, um, I can't even say painted. I don't even know. And I'm on Facebook, so you can look me up and give me a holler. What is your Facebook page? Facebook page, Patricia Baker. And this is, this is, uh, I did this one a couple of, uh, maybe a week ago. Hmm. Look at this. And it's a three-piece. It has a bracelet, earrings. And okay, now next, for example, what would be the price of something like this? That one is 65. See, see, you're like, oh, oh, <laughs> and she said, This is a three piece, so you see, it has the yeah, it has the yeah. I feel like a QVC. That's why I need the little. <laughs> yes, you should be the QVC lady. We got to get a cameraman, I promise. But you see, it has the earrings and they pop. She makes the type of pieces that pop. I guarantee no matter where you go. Right. Uh, people are going to be like, oh, where'd you get them? And it's one of a kind. And because I will also be in holiday art uh, uh, fair or festival for uh, Anton Art Center. Yes. I um making earrings, bracelets, note cards, because they're looking for things, of course, that are going to be good gifts yes. to give to people. Yes. So yes. I've been working on that. And I, uh, Are you going to be at the Holiday Art Fair at the Detroit Artist Market? Yes. Okay. I, right. I'm hoping to. They, okay. they, I sent my information. In, yes. So. Yes. Well, mm-hmm. you already have your some of your things there, don't you? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. And I, I in fact, that also uh, just delivered five pieces of art to uh, Hannon House yesterday. Oh, so man. thank you. Oh. <laughs> and thank you, Richard. He's the man. Richard, hello. <laughs> hello. Now, have you ever had anyone try to steal your, or copy, copy your style? Uh, no, I, actually I've had people say that I stole someone else's. Right. Yeah. You what? They, that I stole someone else's. Okay. Okay. Um, but when you think of things like Zentangle, mm-hmm. uh, anybody can do Zentangle. Mm-hmm. It's what, how you put it together mm-hmm. that's going to determine whether it's you or someone else. Mm-hmm. And so to me, when I see a Zentangle, I can tell who did it. Mm-hmm. So everybody's got their own style. Yeah. Everybody's got their okay. own style. I like yeah. that. I met with jewelry. Because that's, oh, me, that's jewelry. something that you, you're wearing, and that's one of the things I love about it because it's so unique. Well, the other thing with the jewelry, uh, I haven't, uh, it's one of a kind. Mm-hmm. I don't ever make another one. Mm-hmm. That's what's so unique. Yeah. That's yeah. What's so unique. And, and actually, that tip came from um, Rosemary Summers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The fact that hers is only one in a kind, but you, heard, you know her style is entirely different right. than mine. Right. So I, uh, just enjoy, and and one lady, one lady t- tried to tell me. She says, "Well, you're just stringing." No, I'm going. You're crazy. Oh, really? Okay. Well, then you have the right to your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's creating. It's creating the colors. It's creating the the making sure everything just fits together. I mean, if you're going to just string, you're just going to string some beads and just right. Make. But this is actually a piece of art because. You want it to look yeah and sometimes arty. i take pieces apart and put it back together because i didn't like the way it was you know mm-hmm. moving you know and, and uh, presenting itself mm-hmm. okay. it can be actually put in a frame and come in a walk which mm-hmm. should be a very uh, yeah. you know and I, I i just thoroughly enjoy both disciplines yeah. i really do uh i i have you know if you were to ask me what was I going to do in the next 10 years of my life, 
the same thing I'm doing. Yeah, I it's like that. The same it's thing so I'm doing, oh. and I expect to live a longer life because my pet, my father, you know, didn't pass until he was 97. Mm -hmm. So I, like I figured that. the genes are there, That's and right. I will if I take care of my body, take mm -hmm. care of myself. You're taking care of yourself mm -hmm. yeah. and creating it, just making it. Oh, happen. yeah. It just, it's got to be it's happy. Just, it's like happy. I'm, I'm, I'm a happy time. What do you call it? The pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Yes. I'm going to keep on pursuing it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And so where are you going to be at any art fairs coming up or anything? Or uh, no, no. I mean, after uh, Palmer Park and Bell Isle Art Fair, which at Bell Isle Art Fair I did quite well, mm -hmm. um, I I decided to take a, a break. Good. I'm just pause for a second. Yeah. Uh -oh. She got to stop you okay. right there. Uh -oh. You get just my little. Uh oh. Because the thing is, you see her style most want you to stand up and twirl around. It's your whole flair yes. that that just sells everything. <laughs> Belle Isle, it was like you go through the whole Belle Isle, you know, and, oh, it is, and you get to her and she has her little. It's almost like a cabana feel. She, yeah, you she know. said she come on in. You know, <laughs> and she, you know, you know she just jazzy and and I I, I I please continue, but I just wanted to. I well, just, I understand what it's you're a saying. Feel when you go out. It is the Pat I'm a yes. gregarious. I'm a gregarious person. Yes, I like that. Word. So when they come to the tent or the booth, mo uh, and. Actually, I have a piece. One of these guys told me I had, he says, uh -huh, I know what you're doing. I said, what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I had a picture of a nude woman oh. with a tattoo on her back. I've seen that one. And I like that one. So they come and they look, you know, and then I, I invite them in. I said, you have to stay way back there. Come on in. Come on in. You know, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The bait and hook. <laughs> like, come on, come on in. And then now smelling good and I'm looking good and her outfit and her. And I, I, I have fun. I, I enjoy it and I have fun. Very nice. So that's that's what's going on. Uh is it all right if I um could you bring me that picture for first? Sure. 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 We'll take a second. We'll take a quick second and say. Yeah, and uh, we'll take a quick moment just to remind our viewers that you're tuning in to Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Kalibi the Artist and Debbie LaPrat the Artist. We're on WJZZ Coolest TV station on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and, and, Twitter. and Twitter. And Twitter. So Make please sure you sh yeah. share, comment, everything. Yes. So, and yes, don't forget yes. about Miss Baker, is how we can reach you. Yes, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Patricia Baker, and I think on Instagram is March PB seventy seven. But you know, you'll find me. Yeah. If 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 our, Pat Baker. Yes. Pat Baker. I'm gonna stand up. Yeah. All right. This piece <laughs> is a piece <laughs> that is um, called "Music to My Soul." Sleep. <laughs> and it is a uh, a naked woman. Who, is she naked? Yeah, she's I'm naked. sorry, I'm trying to get around the naked, except for the musical notes on her body. I love that. I do too. Yeah. And I love the frame. The that, signature. Is this a chord here? I'm sorry, I'm trying to avoid the glare. Yeah. We'll have this picture up too on the page so you can see it clearly. Right. And and actually and so I do have prints of that, but that's the original. Very nice. That's beautiful. Yeah. And you can pick up another one. We have quite a collection. We could spend about three hours. Oh, yes, you could. You could. I love all her work. You bring a couple when you come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> oh, oh, this is, oh my, this is one of my favorites. It's Ooh. called <laughs> Honor Our Ancestors. And the original is uh, acrylic on canvas, on black mm -hmm. canvas. And there are people in the background, you'll see the ones in front, they, they are uh, alive, but there are uh, dead ancestors in the back, little spirits. I see those. Flowing. I see those. And so that's one of my favorites. Okay. And the other favorite, oh, that oh those is, that's yeah. just showing you it could be matted and framed differently and look different. So you have 
one frame in a lime green. Look at look at Chloe. Every, she's modeling every every frame. <laughs> one frame in and a, a wonderful orange. <laughs> I like the orange. It just kind of makes the piece stand out. Yeah. I'm doing my best. It looks good in blue too. Oh, does it? Okay. It looks good in the royal blue. I like the matte. I like the bright colors on the matte. Oh. The you know. over there, uh, Kalita. Mm -hmm. That one. So remember, she, me, she busy. You're watching you Get Down and Dirty Talking Art on WJZZ Cool TV, and this is Miss Baker. Why Kalibri goes and gets some of our artwork. This is a very cool piece. She's being Van on you guys. <laughs> yeah, she's Van on White tonight. <laughs> Look at her. All she's right. Strutting her she's thing. strutting. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. It's fine. We did our station ID on time. All right. Go back on All right, side. and that that particular one that she's holding is called woke, woke, and it uh, is done with that Picasso as well as Zentangle. I was just going to ask you, is that a Zentangle? It's a cool. Zentangle and a and a Picasso mix. I like that. Yeah. Now is that is that watercolor <laughs> or is that? Um, oh, I love it. You should be in her still dancing over here. I thought one of them. Wait a minute. I, th I think she probably wanted me to do that. But I yeah, know. I think she could get up and slip herself <laughs> around. Let me see. It. Let me see. It's cute. But I love the Zantangle style. I'm going to get closer so you guys can see all the details. Detail. You know, the stripes, the lines, the and it's it's a pretty large piece. But it's that's what... <sighs> Yeah, that's 16 by That's 20. what makes you appreciate it. All of these different colors and the black and whites with the pops of colors. And I just, I love these eyes, how expressive the eyes are. And I like the little lips, the little pouty. Look at the eyelashes. Oh, okay. look at the swirls. It's just so cool. It's so now, is that paint? Or is, it, is this paint? Did you paint it? Or well, these, these are uh, prints and the originals were with were paint. paint. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. And this is the originals were paint. Okay. And the paint that I, it was uh, India ink. Really? Yes. So I use India ink. I use watercolor. Mm. Yeah. So it depends on what I, you know, the, they flow differently, really. And um, yeah, the uh, glass in it. And this one. Oh, look at her. Was, <laughs> Come on, baby. Sorry, I'm doing my burlesque thing. <laughs> and I'm trying to see, which all this is called, the eyes have it. And it's also a 16 So when you're 20. painting, is that when the name comes to you or do you wait until after the piece is done? When do you get inspired by uh, the name? I'm horrible picking names. Sometimes I go to the people out in the in the universe and ask I them to pick the name. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done that. Yes. So. Well, the eyes definitely have it. What inspired the different textures in the eyes? Because you have swirls, you got polka dots, you've got um, triangles and whatnot. Yes. Um, actually... Like um, it just comes from within. Mm -hmm. I don't. Really like I don't that. plan it. And that's that's. I I plan the drawing. Okay. I but like that. but Lovely. when it comes to picking which pattern, I don't plan it. it. Just whatever comes. Yeah. Are we able to say the price? Is there a prints on this guy? Uh, that's the price. That's yes. Are we able to? Yes. yes. Yeah. I just because it's it's unbelievable that this is only a hundred and fifty dollars, and she did mention that they're reasonable. Let me make sure I read that right. Yes, because it's yeah, $150 like for the prints. And these are, it's beautiful. I it's like beautiful. that. I like the colors. I like everything. We might have to pull that one sold. <laughs> it is, it's absolutely stunning. You and know, I, and is... I have a, a person who is what I consider a VIP collector. Mm -hmm. She collects, and she has collected already mm -hmm. uh, four is... of this type. I like that. These I, I like that it composition. Just, just... It makes any room pop. You know, and it makes you want to upgrade your furniture. And honestly, I'm be, you know, it makes you want to dress up your space. Right. When you have artwork that's from a true artist, a living artist, and not just something that's coming from the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> I also, while I was at the Belle Isle Art Fair, uh, some of my friends who had known since college days uh -huh. came because they said they had been watching me on uh, Facebook. And they had to have a Patricia Baker original. That's so so I, that now you know that made my heart. Oh God, it just makes you, yes, yes, yeah. 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 yeah, I I, yeah. I enjoyed that, um, and was happy to send them home with one. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's and it, I don't think it's just the flattery thing, and it's not just the technique. Your paintings really do have a a feeling to them. 
the, the, yeah, an emotion. I call an it an emotion. emotion. It, it yes. births an emotion. Um, I have one of them, and everybody that sees it loves it. Um, but it's called date night. Yes, yeah. I'm yes. Date night. It's called date night, and she just has it's it's simple, but it's still you know kind of chaotic. It, it it draws you in. She has a bit of the zantango in the background, but it's just two figures, you know, strutting. Right. Yeah, I know you were saying your parents inspired that, but I remember that one. she completely yes. captured them. It's like you you see every single mood. You see the pride and the man. He, he kind of he got her on her eye. He kind of biting his lip a little bit, you know. And, and you 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 can. It's like it's like you see the picture moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know. You wait and, for them to start walking off with the frame. Yeah, yes. that one that one was a fun piece. Yeah, that was I enjoyed that. And what do you call that? That one was called oh, Date, date Night. night. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I remember you talking about that. Right. It's amazing. It's called piece. Date Night. Yeah. But you just, it's nice having that essence in your home. You know, not just something that's bright and pretty and colorful, but something, a scene. Mm -hmm. A scene. Mm -hmm. But I always you know. say, I, when I look at a piece of art and it makes me happy and makes me smile, I know that's the piece that I have to have. Mm -hmm. And every piece, when I look at it, I just, it makes me happy and smile. I says, art doesn't have to match the sofa. Uh, I correct. said, I, art correct. does not have to yeah. match the sofa. It makes you happy you need it. Right. I enjoy it. So what's next, Pat yeah. Baker? Well, my next venture is going to take a little bit time, money. But my plan, um, I have a lower level that is 1,700 feet. Mm -hmm. And I plan on making that the Baker Gallery. The oh, true Baker. I was about to say Baker's Lounge. Now, does it feel? <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, so the front area will be the the area, and uh, I expect to have all of my work there, so mm -hmm. that people may come and purchase, as well as I will feature it, an artist it, each month. Okay, so we have a party at Miss Pat Baker. Yes, because yeah. I'll leave the middle sort of open, you know, right, so we can have a party. That's why it's where she got that lounge business from. Because it feels like a lounge. You guys will see it because she's making this gallery, but you see her, you feel her essence. It's yeah. it's a lounge, y'all. You're gonna dress up and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, but you. they they had to do some waterproofing, mm -hmm. and so now I have to do the floor. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. But it'll get done. Well, we okay. might have to have a preview party. We might have to have an opening. <laughs> yeah. A party and opening. That would so. be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. So, so I'll keep you posted. All right. And we'll keep everybody well, posted you. when the Baker Lounge opens. Absolutely. You know, Miss Baker's Lounge. Well, thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's our time. Um. So, how do we reach you? How, do I, how does everybody get a hold of Miss Pat Baker? Well, my email is pj. Baker seven at me dot com. It's v at me, m e m e dot com. Oh, me dot com. Okay. Yes. And where do we see some of your more more of your beautiful works? Uh, www.designsbypatrician.com. Patricia with an N. Okay. Dot com. Right. And that you will see jewelry as well as art there. And I have added more art to it just recently because I had someone who was quite interested but lived in another city. Okay. So right. uh, we'll be posting and it on Get Down on and Facebook Dirty. Facebook as well for artwork, uh, jewelry, and, and fashion tips. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could be fabulous at every single age. And like she That's said, right. she hopes to be here for. A while, so decades a while. more, yeah. And so. I, I, I want to say too about the fact that I, I feel that my purpose in life has been to inspire others, mm -hmm. and I have had some of the students that I've had and some of the people that I have worked with come back to me and say how I have inspired them. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I have. That is a really great re realized purpose. And I um, want everyone to know, especially if you're older, that you can start now. Yes, you can. You're never too old. Just find something you're passionate about yes. and work, work at it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us this interview. Thank you. And I, I appreciate the, the opportunity. Thank you. It was so fun. And Thank I you. love my promo. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're doing an amazing job. We'll be putting it on our Facebook cut phase. All her information, get down on Dirty Talk and Art. And you're here with Miss Pat Baker, me, Debbie, and Calibri, the artist. Thank you, everybody. Remember, WJZZ, Cool Jazz TV, the coolest station in the world. Thank you all. Night. Bye. Night. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.